Hi everyone, uh, in this video what I will do is um, I will explain actually how you can embed the Matomo tracking code within a Google Tag Manager. So um, uh, that's not really, the, let's say, an advice that I should give because basically you will lose all the interest of using Matomo, but I'm receiving a lot of questions about it and I just would like to demystify a couple of things. So. Uh, let's imagine that you have a website, right? On this website, there's no container yet. Um, and I would like to set uh, Google Tag Manager on it. So what I will do is that I will get uh, the tracking code of uh, Google Tag Manager, which is up here. And I will just basically copy it oops, and paste it within my uh, head as um, like most of the container, right? So uh, now Google Tag Manager is installed here and I would like to collect uh, the information through Matomo Analytics. So what I will do is I will go over here as uh, within any other solution and I will just keep uh, my tracking code, which is, yes, if I go down the page and if I go, uh, if I go, over here under tracking code, I just need to copy and paste the tracking code, which is uh, which is right here. Uh, in my case, what I will do as well in order to easily identify it, I called advanced track custom variable uh, for this visitor and I put a client side. Um, yeah, I could basically maybe use track custom variable for this visitor. I will give it a funny name like funny and value, which is yes, yes. Can I can I choose it? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So here, yeah, let's say that I'm copying this tracking code, and let's now embed it within. Uh, Google Tag Manager. So for this, I need to create a new tag. Uh, this tag will be, of course, Matomo, the Matomo tag. Um, what you can see here is that um, you cannot see uh, the Matomo tracking code template. And the reason is that, um, well, of course, Google need to uh, accept it. And in order to accept it, uh, I guess that either the Matomo's team or either any user need to raise their hand and say, hey, please, could you add the template of Matomo within it? Uh, that's a bit different with the Matomo's project. So if you would like actually to get the Google Analytics or any third party players uh, vendor within Matomo Tag Manager, uh, there's a full documentation on GitHub explaining how you can uh, claim and create and integrate actually a new template within Matomo uh, Tag Manager. So that's definitely one of the main uh, difference between the two, let's say, tag management solution between uh, Google Tag Manager and uh, Matomo Tag Manager, which is available here. Okay, but that's not the subject of of today. So in any cases, here it's a custom HTML. So you just go over here and you just paste actually your tracking code over here, right? So you get your tracking code. Um, I can just uh, remove this part and remove this part as well and. Okay, and as all the tracking code, you can just decide where uh, it will be fired. So in my case, that's gonna be on all pages. I just save it. And I just need actually to either preview or either submit. So let's go for preview. And <clears throat> okay, so to do do. Okay, so now I'm on the preview mode and if I look at it, what I will see is that, okay, so I got um, the Matomo tracking code, which has been fired once. Yep, so if I look at the information, I should see, um, I should see many things, including yeah, what I had added, which is the custom variable, which is funny, yes, and visit. So normally, if I look um, over here within my dashboard, and if I look in real time, almost in real time, let's say the visitor log for today, and if I'm lucky enough, I should see my custom variable funny, yes, and everything's working correctly. So 
Uh, yes, here you have the proof that actually you can integrate Matomo to Google Tag Manager in order to fire it uh, whenever uh, whenever you want. Actually, that would be exactly the same thing as using uh, Matomo Tag Manager. I also think that actually you can also integrate one container within another um, tag management solution and play with it. Um, I didn't precise actually why I think it's not a good idea. Uh, mainly because when you are going for Matomo, you are mainly, let's say, voting for uh, using a free software environment to have a control over your data and so on and so forth. By including Matomo within a solution of Google, it means that actually you are uh, somehow sending the data as well that you are collecting through Matomo to Google server, which means that actually there's no real, some added, there's no real added value of using Matomo here. Um, as well, the other point that I'm saying is that um, as the Google Tag Manager uh, script is kind of famous, let's say, and well recognized by, uh, let's say, extensions or add-on defined within the browser in order to block uh, the execution of the script, as Matomo will be included within uh, the Google Tag Manager script, of course, uh, it won't fire if the Google Tag Manager script is blocked. So that's why I strongly suggest you to work uh, mostly the other way around to use Matomo Tag Manager and to include within Matomo Tag Manager the different script uh, that you would like to fire coming from third party solution. But that's just uh, one piece of advice. It won't uh, be a guarantee that uh, you will collect everything, but at least you may have less chances that your um, uh, scripts included within the container will be blocked in comparison of including all of them within uh, Google Tag Manager. I really hope that this video uh, explained a couple of things to you and it will help you in making uh, any decisions here. Thanks for watching.